Oh, hello. Happy Monday. A, uh, unusual day for, uh, tabletopping, but we're tabletopping today. Oh, let's just jump right in to Unmutant. Hopefully I'm not... So then I don't know what to else. make. Hello. Hello, Thanks. we were talking about Poor Man's Poison. If you guys do not recognize the band Poor Man's Poison, go listen to them immediately. You definitely should check them out. Like, this this game's going to be cool. I'm not saying this game's not going to be cool, but listen to Poor Man's Poison. <laughs> All right, so we are playing Teeth today, which is the night after the huge party that we threw they refilled everybody's AP and HP back up to 10. That's how good they did, they did at fixing the up. Let me run <laughs> down some of the Yeah, let's uh, upgrade uh, recap the what was added or created with the ship yesterday. The sub now is segmented to the point that if one area has a catastrophe, the rest of it doesn't feel it. So, you guys can roll all the ones that you want. You're just going to destroy one area. <laughs> we have a pathogen lab to study any, like, foreign pathogens to stop any, you know, disease from spreading. Which is excellent. Thank you, Leo, for that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We now have wings on the ship. The kind of, like, flying fish wings. They flap super loud. They sound like a helicopter, like, directly overhead. But the sh the submarine can fly. It's we also have fancy spinning propellers that can distract any enemy that is trying to chase, chase you and then lose. Like, they will lose you. We have... We know that there are duck spies. That's not really important to the sub, but they're out there. The ship has turbos, a little bit of nitrous boosters. They run on diesel. That's important, I guess. <laughs> We have a stealth cloak. Thank you, Akana. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we have increased navigation rift meteorology. You guys can guess where, not guess, like educated predict. guess, predict <laughs> where rifts are going to form. And we get to play games based on that. Like first contact. I'm looking forward to those kind of games. The kiln is fixed. We also have a self-service donut bar where you drop your own donut in. It's we have the fancy tricks. bed. The fancy beds that uh, Talali had for us. They're back. We have an out. We have an outstanding library. It's not on the ship, but it's next to the ship. Like it's we have library. It's being built right now in the city. Thank you, Caustic. Uh, we have multi-purpose torpedo bays. So the not torpedo only. Torpedo bays. Uh, not only do we have, uh, oh my god, what are they called? Evacuation escape pods? pods? Escape pods. Escape pods. Uh, also torpedoes, but also we can shoot just about anything out of those torpedo tubes. You made sure. <laughs> and I think, I think I'm bearing the lead. I think we all know that the most interesting part of this is now the ship can just walk on land like some weird spider. It's an all-terrain vehicle at this point. The tentacles can now, like, reach down, and just four on each side, and, and carry them around. Mind. And I know what you're thinking. Squids have ten tentacles. That's because the other two are tipped in automated raccoon hands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Little grabby hands. I don't hands. like that. <laughs> Little grabby hands. So you guys can, like, do science. I guess if you ever fucking want to do science, it's weird. No. I know. Science you can ever like roll like... to successfully science. So I obviously <laughs> missed a lot. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> game. We got a lot of tasty upgrades. Oh, I'm gonna... oh also, the, um, there's a sexy picture of the captain. Yeah, there's a. What? Is a captain uh, pinup on the side? Pin up, up, pin up side. girl. Yeah. I... Why? <laughs> Because that is what, uh... Because we Josh to the game. Because <laughs> we invited Josh to the game. Uh, Amazing. <laughs> it, Amazing. It's on my to-do list to actually draw that, like, old-style, like, old-school pin-up style. Um, and see if we can, like, I don't know, slap it on some shirts or something dumb. But, like, it's sexy <laughs> captain, but, like, the captain's got tentacles for legs, so I don't know how, like, sexy it's gonna be. <laughs> Do those like tentacles disturbing. go all the way up? They do, in fact, go all the way up. Someone's into it. More lies. So, 
Thank there's you so a lot much. of people fucking into it. Also, that puts you back at the top again. Because you, you had were, lost you your, your, your throne temporarily. I what? You didn't. Yeah, you lost it. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, guys. We all know who's playing he based just starts, on who's like, in the starts, like, throwing chat, up. But... Oh. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. ah, man, hold on. I'm gonna run down the introductions real quick. We got... I'm gonna fade into the background myself. Have fun. We got our navigation officer on deck. We got Talali Sleekfeet, played by Trixie here. Hi. We have our librarian, but there is not a library on the ship anymore. That's the one thing they forgot to reinstall. That is Isaac, War uh, Isaac played by Warlord there. Hello, I'm having a crisis. <laughs> Terribly sorry. We have Officer of Anthropology slash Food, played by, um, this is Tengu Gemini, played by Zach. Hi. And we have another navigation officer, but that one's kind of like an air quotes because they're really your secret spy officer, Akana, <laughs> played by Akana. Hello. Excellent. So you four awaken, and there's some people, like, up in arms, and they come to Zach um, and Akana first. Like, you two are the ones that seem like that makes sense for them to come to. A lot of people are missing teeth. A large number of people are missing teeth. Gemini, you are missing one of your tusks. Has just been Oof. plucked right out of your mouth. You don't feel pain. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish it doesn't I'd known hurt. that ahead of time, because I would have, like, drawn I, that to be He accurate. rolled so last minute. Um, one of your tusks has been pulled out of your mouth. Um, Talali, you are missing some of your molars. Um, <laughs> Warlord and Akana, you guys both just wake up like normal. Um, Akana, not Akana, um, Talali and Gemini, you're both kind of groggy. You guys feel groggy. Um, also, Chatterfang, there is not a single tooth left in your mouth. <laughs> Lore, there is not a single tooth left in your mouth. You guys are just, like, completely gums to the wind. You are knocked out. Like, you guys can play cards, but you have to RP somebody else helping. You are unconscious. You cannot be stirred. Also, if somebody heals you for one HP, you regain a tooth. So every time somebody heals you for an HP, you get a tooth back. If somebody plays, like, some health things on you, you'll get all your teeth back. Don't worry about it. We're not going to leave you no teeth. But one Morris HP per tooth for the most part? One, yeah, one HP, for, one HP per tooth. Voice is missing a tooth. Officer Trafford is missing some teeth. Is missing three teeth. Um, Lore, we already talked about. Zachna is missing a tooth. Corsipa is missing a tooth. Pocket... Pollux and Casta, you are missing a tooth per. Talali, you are missing the molar like we talked about. Patagon. Patagon is exhausted, but doesn't have teeth. So, Patagon, you are just incredibly tired. It's missing some tongue nubs. Missing some weird tongue nubs. Um, and if you are here, Vatna, you are not missing teeth as you don't have any, but you are missing some scales from your wings. Vatna is a moth person, in case you guys don't know. Okay, not forgiven plate, I want candy. If we roll a 20, then everybody recovers AP. Which Alan, I want to hear you uh, whimpering say. like the women behind the door. Tank Gemini played paranoid. this card. Horny on main. If I need AP later. That okay, card was so. louder than I expected, I apologize. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's just adjusting the sound. I don't, have the stream open. I don't know when it happened. Okay, but anyway. I made a coupon code. The code is teeth for 15% off. In theory. <laughs> Good no. Luck. No. No. Lord, for right <laughs> until you are healed for one AP and one HP, you can only single jump. That single jump is your double jump ability of activating. Just so, just so we aware, because you don't have teeth. Toast, did you roll a fail? I don't have you listed as. Oh, you did. Oh, Krieg, right here. You um just lost one tooth, but it's a big one. It's one of your like, fucking, right in your front. You look like a hockey player. 
Yeah, I think Axolotl will only have four teeth. They use it more for just holding their prey. I had a plan if you rolled bad caustic, I did. It was <laughs> very funny, but it didn't happen. But anyway, again, one HP gives you a tooth back. That's we don't need to worry about it right now. But like so there are a lot of people. It's not just the crew. A lot of people around the town have woken up very groggy, missing teeth. And the four of you have been like, they came to you and they're like, hey, can you guys investigate this? Well, because everybody else is busy right now. Like, they're building the ship. They're trying to reload the ship. Like, and Akana's the head spy. So, like, looking for information really works. And they're like, you don't have a library on the ship right now. It's being built, Isaac. So maybe you can jump in, do this. And... Like they go up to Tali and like you're not navigating shit. We're not going for going to sail. So if you don't mind, solve this fucking problem that we have. Makes He's sense. just gonna glare at him. <laughs> Strumpy. This is this is tattoo talking to you all. Who is also missing teeth? How many teeth? <laughs> Tattoo's <laughs> missing two teeth. He's missing his, like the right one on the top, the foremost right one, and the. Bottom most left one. Leo, who lost also lost teeth in this, is missing both of his rabbit teeth. Oh no. Oh, oh no. I Leo assumed looks incorrectly. Hilarious. Oop, I kicked everything. So you guys can ask whatever questions you want. You all remember the last place you were before like blacking out. And you all had something to drink, I'm gonna assume. Correct? That's fine. Yeah. Definitely. Sure. Sure, yeah. Um So you guys remember the last thing that you last place you remember being was the diving bell. Except for um Warlord and Akana. You two feel like you two remember going to bed. That doesn't sound like me, but Yep. You can hold your drink. <laughs> I'm gonna move you guys to the diving. Oh, I could have I could have put this on the city, but I really like the poster that I made. Here's the city. Everybody remember the city? This is where we live. Lovely city. Let's go right into here. So asking around town, do we we put do we? Oh, find that everybody ask who... around town? absolutely let's let's ask around town yeah. do we do we find out that everybody who lost teeth was drinking or uh go ahead and roll me a 20 sider let's see how successful you are with these questions unless you have an ability that would help you with the questions um nah nothing that uh not unless i could like you guys can read Ask your a mountain abilities. or something. Mm, no, I don't, no, that wouldn't be yeah. a mountain to ask. Yeah. I just save your AP on this one. Okay. Indigestion. Yeah, so 15. Yeah, um, you run into some mouse people like heading to the mine. And they're missing some teeth and like, yeah, it's just I'm super foggy. But the last thing I remember the diving bell celebrating you guys' fantastic ship. And by the way, what a ship. Ha! Huh. Never thought of it. And then you run into an otter, and the otter's just like like sitting at a coffee shop, like looking at a etching of the like the pinup of the captain that's on the side of the ship. He's like folds it up immediately, like, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, the last thing, and like you see, he's missing like almost his entire top row of teeth are gone. It's like, I guess I had too much to drink, and like, they didn't say I got in a fight, but I don't feel anything. It doesn't hurt. And the people missing teeth, you did not take damage. Like, you don't feel this. Like, you feel like you can tongue over it and be like, eh. but it feels like a tooth that was pulled out like a month ago. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Nicole. Um, Professor Winter's character, you have lost 
four of your sharp, beautiful teeth. Professor Winter also rolled low and oh, no. just... He had a beautiful smile right up until now. But everybody's telling you, yeah, they last thing they remember. And importantly, do, do we also find the uh, same with like people who haven't lost teeth? Um, because I think is trying to figure lost... out any similarities or differences between people who have and have not lost teeth. Uh, roll me another 20 cider. A really good question. Like, Akana has all of her teeth. Uh, so, success, but barely. So, um... I love Officer Trafford's smile so much. Um... I will bring Officer Trafford on the fucking screen if I need to. Oh, no, I won't. I'm way scrolled down on my token. This music is very funny to me. I don't know. You guys are listening to the same thing I am right now, but it's hilarious. Anyway. Look. Oh, this one doesn't have him smiling. My bad. Um. So. With a bare success, Akana, you remember being at the... Like, you're gonna ask these guys. In Warlord, you remember being at the bar. Like, drinking. And you... Hmm... Warlord, with your 20, I'm going to say that you remember the drinks hitting some people a little bit harder. Mm -mm. Like, you could have sworn that Corzaba could hold her drinks better than she did, but she got fucking destroyed. Like, four shots in? Look at the size of her. Half compared of her is a to, snake. I don't even know how to me? Doesn't Yeah, right? Think... You... You definitely, if you had a drinking contest with Corsipa last night, you won. For sure. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't add up. That just doesn't add up. I wonder if we can tell who had which drinks. And which alcohol might have been tampered with. Oh, absolutely. That sounds like going to the diving bell. Yeah. So you guys arrive at the diving bell, and there's already a crowd in here. Remember, the diving bell doesn't just serve alcohol. They do do, like, espressos for when everybody was super tired. The espresso saved my life. <laughs> okay. Um, and to answer your question, Akana, um, when you walk in and ask the question of the bartender, if you could get a sample of what everyone was drinking last night, Cree is just like, who's the little moth go behind the bar? She is wearing a very buttoned up like, nice suit. She, it has tails. It's a very, like... It's very early for it. Like, it, she looks so fucking good right now. <laughs> like, and she's just super buttoned up all of her fluff is under it but like it kind of like poofs out around her neck like her night like moth fluff it's just absolutely officer akana and she hands you this bottle of wine that like as a bottle of champagne that everybody was having and you do recognize that that was open on tables last night in the little octopus things that's what everybody was drinking um i want to use my i don't know if this will be helpful but my spy glasses yeah. Uh, it ability. says ability to magnify details of small nearby objects. So I just want to, like, skim the label, look at the bottom, if there's any sediment. So I'm going to do that. Okay, Press that 3 way. AP. Yeah. Okay, so I have a question. Yeah, would, sure, we know, would we know specifically where this bottle came from? Like, what region in Liminal? Another good point. It actually says right on the bottle that, like, like it was this year's, like, spirit. Like, they grew and pressed the grapes themselves here. Mm. I don't know a lot about booze. I'm sorry. If I'm, like, 
if anybody in the chat's mad at like how I'm talking about booze, just assume magic. We aged it with magic. I don't know. When you say here, do you mean liminal plane or do you liminal. mean liminal. Have the... uh, uh Actually, probably. Yeah, this was probably grown in Pastora. Mm. They've got a lot of like nice vineyards out there. Uh, Isaac, do you know we still we still have any contacts in Pastora that are still talking to us? Mm -hmm. Would I? You would. Um, everybody's pretty much on good terms. Nobody's seen the king for a while. Um, <laughs> king Reedy has been missing, but um, Marlo and has been running pretty running the show pretty well. She's a centaur. She's beautiful. I love her. Um, she's the one that was in like a flexing contest against Corsica, where Corsica pulled a muscle to prove that she was stronger than her. Uh, can we oh, have I'm communications sorry. team reach out to them to see? Yeah, you, you guys could for sure. Um, um, was it? Priest just like, yeah, the switchboard's up and working again. You guys can call right here. And she pulls out a phone that is an incredibly, incredibly early version of what Akana was proposing to the, um, for the World's Fair thing. Oh, yes. They liked the idea already that they are using it. So. They're doing some research for me in prototypes. Basically, yeah. I assume that Akana gave them prototypes. Mm -hmm. A lot of people got to call a taxi, you know? get too drunk at the diving bell how are you gonna oh, okay. get home that's okay. true how are you gonna remove this riffraff too when they get out of hand Am oh i, right? I don't think she's worried about the riffraff <laughs> that's a deer in the background right there oh. like she's mean as shit if she wants to be so i'm not concerned she has a giant club she also has a motorcycle there are three motorcycles in this town right now well i have two of them so I, that's hilarious to me <laughs> <laughs> Make it a 20. What do you want me to do? Give her another motorcycle? <laughs> I have enough. I'm good. I only have two feet to drive them with, so. <laughs> okay. So. You call, and like. The, like a very confused voice comes over the other end. It's just like, Hel hello? Hi, uh, this is Officer Kana. I'm here near the Civil Thimble at the uh, Diving Bell. We had some, I'm gonna say, maybe a tainted batch of some champagne from Pastora. It has led to very weird effects to people who had it last night. Is there anything you can tell me about how it was made or where it was grown or if you. No, the, the, the wine's grown by like our. Like, the otter folk that have... The otters are no longer nomads. That's... That's gonna hit your head all at once. Mm. Like, if you hadn't thought about it before, you associate otters with, like, a nomadic nomadic group. And then, like, in your head, you start to realize it's kind of like the... In, in our world, like, the Italian countryside. With nice, like, stone buildings, long, like, large vineyards and stuff. They've settled down. But, like, you don't remember it like that, but then all of a sudden you suddenly do. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, the otter. It's, like, packaged the same way, same as always, like... Okay, so we don't these... remember the formerly nomadic aspect? Yeah, for a second you do, but now you don't. You're like, okay. you lost it. Or dream things. Like, you had it until you remembered it, you know what I mean? Mm hmm Yeah. And it's just like... As far as we know, it has not been tampered. Um, was the cork secure? Was, like, the bottom of the bottle secure? Did anybody tamper it? Who was handling these drinks? Was there any suspicious folk in your your, your bar? I was participating. Um, and weird enough, I did not actually suffer these effects. Um, some people have, though. And we're just trying to weed out what they were drinking. But I know this, this bo uh, these bottles were on some different tables. So I believe the bartender opened all of them with the wine key and, like, and other drinks that didn't affect people. So we're mm -hmm, just trying to mm -hmm. figure it out. I appreciate this call. But I don't think it's a worry with the, bo the alcohol itself. You might want to look at the glasses that they were served in. Like, it sounds like 
if people weren't being attentive to their own drinks and i'm not blaming the victim at all i just like this is terrible and i hope you get to the root of this all right uh if anything else comes up we will be in touch almost certainly and she's like and have you heard the word Reedy's coming back do you know when i've heard by the end of this month Reedy's gonna have a fine celebration he has something to announce we're very excited to hear it that's interesting do you know where he was coming from well we don't know yet but i'm sure we'll all like he sounds very excited that's good or to know thank and, you and thank you and please like let us know if you find that it is something wrong with the wine we will most assuredly fix that all right uh yeah we will be in touch and marlo's just looking at the phone how do i hang this up just and click then, like, the button <laughs> for the next like five minutes and through the phone you just constantly hear marlo's like grumbling about like the work <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything, uh, any other information I can glean from rumblings, or is the it most nonsensical? That you can glean what it has, they had like nothing, nothing important. Like, okay, what you gained from that call is it probably had nothing to do with the wine before it left. All right, one suspicion checked off, uh, but a, there's a new lead, I guess. We could inspect the glasses. I assume they've been washed by now. Any ideas? If there are any glasses that still have not been washed, uh, I could do a thing to test to test them. We yeah, have a fancy ahead. new lab to detect pathogens. Just saying. You guys can I go was... ahead and roll. Um... I'm sorry. Go ahead and roll the Searching for an old glass roll. Oh, I don't mind. Who uh, Tangu? You wanna... Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah, your yeah, rolls okay. are better. <laughs> so yeah, you find like... You find a champagne flute underneath the one of the tables. And it um, looks like it has been... It was missed last night. Does it still have any of its contents in it? Yeah, I would say that, like, you could, like, put your finger in it and run it, and it would come out a little bit damp. Because I have the ability Wild Font, which lets me uh, create a surplus of the contents of a container. Okay, yeah, sure. So we, I could make it have more than enough to uh, test for whatever. Absolutely, go ahead and make that roll. A roll just just to make it start yeah flowing? Just, to, just to see how much like you get like, like and see how much of what do you get you know 12 is success like you're nice. made like this guy is completely full the same as it would be it looks the exact same as what you would have been given last night okay so i i take this to go get tested for any anything like any kind of like poison or mm. other magic contaminant any yeah magic sure make them run every test we have yeah talon your character is super groggy super groggy getting out of bed is a task for you right now like um because talon says corsipa does a bunch of things. Koizapa doesn't do a bunch of things. Koizapa might try to do it, but you are like super loopy. I'm trying to like. I didn't think we were going to the pathogen lab. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> we can imagine it. No, no, no. Well, I have actually, this map for a fucking reason. One quick thing before we go. I want to cast Sense Magic just oh, to see good. if there's like any traces of magic in the area that would like also have had an effect or did had something related to the like or any magic in, on the glass that was left because it could have been something magical that 
fucked everyone up. Oh yeah, I won't even make you make a roll for that. The glass doesn't appear to have anything magical. I will cut cost you the AP still. But, oh no, that's um, fine. It does not appear that whatever was in this glass was specifically magical. Okay. Lolly's really small, so there we go. <laughs> All right, everybody's like here now. Let's go to this. Yeah, I made this lab forever ago. All right, this is what we saw before the ship blew up, and it's all fixed. It's yeah, all it's nice. Fixed. It's beautiful. Bad memories. Got a nice pathogen lab. Everybody has like little like coats and stuff that we can try to like figure out what's going on in the with the pathogen what's on these can i touch them uh, yeah you can definitely touch them i would say that they are <laughs> um water from around the world um that may or may not lead us to certain like specific rift uh, this is just a the... lab for pathogens and um through the other through this door over here is like the pathogen lab that's why it's got the little yellow gloves you get right. to reach in because I also want to test it for poisons. Yeah, it, it, the whole place will do that. It'll test it for that. Okay. All right. And as a word of caution, don't lick anything in here. I didn't think I'd have to say this, but yeah, maybe keep. Oh, I look disappointed. Blood appendages to yourselves. <laughs> Please don't put, put your tongue anywhere. <laughs> Nowhere. Keep your tongue in your in mouth. In your mouth. <laughs> Connor's rules. <laughs> Oh, yeah, if you want to, like, make some kind of, like, science evil, you can go for it. To detect poison and or pathogens. I should leave that to the science people. Which? You, any guess. of you can make that roll. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. Science? Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, it was a ride. Uh... Of choice. Yeah. You can either you spill the sample, which means you can either search it for pathogens or poisons, but not wait, both. Wait, hey, you know sec. what's really funny? You know what's really funny? I think that's a twenty. Oh, oh it looks <laughs> like a twenty. <laughs> well, that's funny. Or because wildfire technically like it can make stuff overflow, so maybe. You spilled some, it's like, oh, but then it just refilled. Absolutely. So, like, you test it for pathogens, and it doesn't have any known pathogens in it, but it does seem to have some kind of sleeping drug in it. Like, on further inspection, it definitely looks like a spy's version of, like, the sleeping gas situation that they have as an ability. Like, it's, it's a poison, for sure. Somebody was poisoning people in the diving bell. And now you know. Do we have a way to detect the poison without running a test on surfaces? Um, you know that this explains why, you're, why you and Talali are both groggy. Like, you have been drugged. Um, and that that's about it like you would have to like um, hmm. I don't you. it's not a tw well it was a 20 yeah so the more information about the drug is it a not easy to get a hold of but you have to apply it directly before somebody drinks. If it waits too long, if it would have sat in the bottle, it would have, like, not been effective. Somebody would have needed to drop these in your drinks or coat the glass in them for them to have worked the way that they did on you guys. I have to figure out who and why. Well, the person who would have access to the glasses would be the barkeep. And 
and the bouncer, possibly. Anyone else who worked there? The bouncer um, usually stays by the door. Or whoever washes the dishes. Yeah, like yeah. a porter. Because if they, they could have like washed it and then put some in each glass. This is not great. Alright. So that's the information that you guys have. I guess we could go back to the diving bell and just ask a ton of questions of like who was doing what and then question them. Yeah. You guys want to do that? Yeah. I yeah. Mean, it, I think is that... it still possible that someone else like not associated with the diving bell came in like after hours? It's I mean like, I don't know, early in the morning and like it's you certainly know. possible that somebody could have dropped drugs into you guys' drinks while everybody was celebrating. It's it's not unheard yeah. of. Yeah, but for it to be as widespread, it seems likely that somebody would have had to have taken a, a bit of, of time to yeah. do this. Or multiple room. somebodies. Mm, like yeah. This, this, ha this would have had to have been a planned thing. A hit crew. No, it's a bit obvious if it's the bar people. Yeah. Like, a bit too obvious to look at them. That's why we just need to, like, find out who was, was doing what, if any of them saw anything suspicious. Yeah, a full rundown of what they saw. If they remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, did any of the bar people... The bar workers end up losing teeth? That's a good question. I didn't notice at first. We should go back and check. Yeah, we should go back and start asking questions. More questions. Alright, terribly sorry about that. Alright, so we are going to go back to the diving bell. And upon returning to the diving bell, you do see um, Adira and, like, the Tinker. The Tinker doesn't actually work at the diving bell, but he's just kind of there, just Why? taking in the ambiance. <laughs> is he there like, often, or is he only here now? Oh, he's, oh. he's there a lot. Um, okay. He doesn't really talk to people, but he just hangs out. You guys would recognize him. I'm gonna assume he doesn't have teeth. Uh, no, he does. He does have oh. teeth. It's just he doesn't like. He has all of them. All little metal teeth. Did he drink last night? He did not. Um, he answers very, very curtly. I mean, he's just like, no, I don't drink. But, you know. And he's just like, also machine. Air. What about, uh, oh, where is Cree? Oh dear, it's just like, oh, Cree around here somewhere. Mm hmm. Do okay, have all their teeth? Uh, yeah, Adira has all of her teeth. Mm hmm. So um, I guess we just start asking if if anybody had seen anything suspicious relating to the glasses anybody if there was anybody I, unusual I around just like, this place cleaning stuff it just says this place was packed last night like a lot of you all needed to be like wheeled out and, like as a joke but like kind of like some people like had to be fucking marched out of here We called you all taxis so you guys got home. It's just like, if you're missing teeth, I mean, we've heard stories about those fairies. Cree won't shut up about them. Were there any fairies here last night? Nah, they stay far away from us. 
somebody made it so they don't get they don't trust them looking directly at Gemini. Well, but wait, as far as we know, there were only still two fairies plus the one that came yeah, through the rest. The yeah. So it's like, wait a minute, like just the two fairies though, right? Or do you, is somebody talk about more fairies? Ah, uh, three and seven stay away from here. Yeah. So what fairies? And like, oh, Crete's got a whole book on him, and she like looks behind oh. the bar. It's just like, I don't know, it's the book she took. She, Crete knows about shit. You know, vampire stuff. That's all Crete's thing. Mm hmm. And if you weren't here for Friday's Castlevania game, Cree got super excited when she heard that we were going to go kill Van. That's true. So I think we might have to go talk to Cree. We're going to have to talk to Cree. I'm well, sure I'm gonna she's around here somewhere. Let's noop on the bar top and see if I can find that book. Oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead and make a roll, see if you can find the book. Let's see if I can roll here. Jesus. Yeah. Um, you can you see where the book was kept, but no, you know what? I'll give it to you. Like you pull out her grimoire, the the big book that we saw on Friday's game, and it is just like you leaf through it. You see werewolves, but then you see like a picture of Midnight's character, and then you say like real werewolves on the next page that shows like a person turning into a wolf, and it's just like notes about the fact that it's just like like tired of like fake monsters and then you like flip a page as you keep going you see a picture of like a real vampire Dracula but then like on the next one it's just like it's just a fucking red cap and it's just like not vampire <laughs> and like you flip through it and you um you find the bookmark in it is held on like Kukla large serpent with tooth-like scales like said to grant wishes that is the page that it was on mm. well, that's kind of leads all over the place <laughs> I'm getting suspicions do people like make uh, offerings to the big snake uh you look down at it, it's just like her notes include like um fairies used to offer teeth in exchange for crystals. Yep. Hmm. They got roofied by some fairies. <laughs> well, this isn't a fairies book. It's um, the moths, isn't it? This is a moths book, yeah. I think we have a moth we have to go question. <laughs> she should be around here somewhere. Like, we have upstairs and we also have the patio. Like, she doesn't usually wander off. I'm I'm gonna just head upstairs and look and for split the party. <laughs> we could. Because I feel like if we pick the wrong place, they're gonna be gone. You all down here. Warlord's going upstairs, I know. Uh... Who wants to go upstairs with them? I'm gonna stay downstairs, maybe check the patio. I can go. Also, is going upstairs. Just so that, you know, if we go upstairs and they come back, no, we don't miss them. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'll go with you to the patio. Just so, so we're, we're and, not alone. And Isaac, go upstairs. And up here, you do see L and P, the two members of the jewels. L is missing one of his teeth, and he's super grumpy about it. <laughs> K I mean, has all of his teeth. He's very happy about it. And he's making fun of it. <laughs> L is the small one that kind of looks like Plankton, but I love him so much. He's my favorite NPC. Um, Honey Banks is in the back corner there. Like, also, like, drinking sullenly. And Dr. Sama, um, former Officer Sama, is here as well. Like, 
giving people like advice. It's just like, don't worry, come to the, by the hospital, we'll get you taken care of, we can grow, regrow teeth, it's not that much of a concern. I'm gonna talk to him first. All right, so it's just like, uh, Akana, good to see you. Sure, you're familiar with the going. Everybody lost teeth overnight. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of kind of interesting, and definitely why I'm here. Uh, I actually didn't, and I was definitely here partying for sure. Um, some is just like it's me as well. Like I was here, had a few myself. All my teeth are just fine. Yeah, we're we're seeing that it's it seems to be either targeted or random, but several of our crew and the otters and the um the squirrels <laughs> all here and there missing teeth and you've done some i guess quick triages or in, like you know checked people out of course we have the most advanced hospital on in the world so we can <laughs> regrow bones slash regrow teeth it's it's not super complicated right but do you know super. why like they what causes cool this Pulled out. Like, okay. They and the ones that I have studied, the people are their teeth were pulled directly out with a very strong anesthetic, as no one's really feeling the pain, they're just feeling the holes. Now, give it some time and people will be suffering. Now, you know you know my dear child, Vatna, of course. Everybody knows Vatna, wonderful child. They are incredibly groggy today. Could barely make it out of bed. I've set them up with some soup. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll be fine. But it is a ridiculously powerful anesthetic. Like, they are just asleep. Now, I assume some of you have <coughs> stronger resistances. But I think, in my heart of heart, we've all been drugged. Yeah, I think you're right. That's definitely what it looks like. All right. Uh, anything else that you found while meeting with people? Nah, nothing else. List. It seems to be independent. Like, doesn't matter if the people had teeth or not. <laughs> Everyone got drugged. It's just the people with teeth lost them. Gotcha. Oh, and don't talk to Laura about it. <sighs> She's in a bad state. <clears throat> and Laura, you'll know, has none of her teeth left. Right. Top, bottom row, all fishwife's teeth are gone. Okay. Hmm. And Warlord, do you have any questions to ask? Um. Well, some of those definitely there. While parting, have you seen any body there that might have, that you didn't recognize that somebody might not have noticed any weird activity from anyone during the festivities i know there's a lot happening but you know in case you might have caught something forgot to mention it Al's like i'll tell you what the fuck i saw and again Al's this little guy he has a gun but it's not like out waving you guys just know that he has always armed just even in the diving belt this dude's Thanks. a fucking loose cannon don't roll ones around him um it's like i'll tell you what the fuck i saw I was passed out in the gutter like normal, like no, like a good fucking Friday or set sun. I don't care. So I was out feeling great. Just somebody just DC'd. Goodbye, Warlord. That was my fault. I'm so sorry. Please come back. Fired. <laughs> I accidentally just clicked him away. I'm so sorry. My bad. <laughs> I like banned warlord. I, I, I was so I confused. It. it wasn't too bad. <laughs> it's like, what did I do? Ban him. Anyway, you so the small one eyed guy <laughs> who's missing a tooth out of his bottom jaw, very upset about it. It's just like, so there I was. And like, the screen gets wiggly. Yeah, it's like you guys go like full Wayne's world. <laughs> there I was passed out in the street and I and I felt like a pull 
just something pulling at me. And then when I open my eyes, I look over and I see like a shadowy figure walking into the distance. And they definitely had one of my teeth. They have wings. If you notice. Shadowy. Shadowy. Um, go ahead and roll me a 20-sided to see like if he remembers. You can go ahead and rule. I don't trust myself. Oh, the one is 17. Okay. Oh, is it 17? It, it, it came almost. Up, oh, no, almost. almost. The, the last roll yeah. was a 17, and then this one was a 10. All right, so. Shadowy figure. Oh, no. <clears throat> so you have two choices. I, I'm going to move him up a little bit. You can see him in the gutter. Um, you can either get size or shape. I think, actually, I think size would help. I The two uh, suspects I'm thinking of, they both have a sets of wings, so size would be a, so a good telltale it, sign. So it raised it by one, which makes it 11, so you come up to three gets, yeah, like, maybe wings... Like a, like a real fluffy neck and mm -hmm. well dressed. I I want to say, but I <laughs> I was fucking. Out. Oh, that's p perfect. Thank you. That helps a lot. Well, no, you're welcome. So that's a normal Friday for you, just being passed out in the gutter. You, you know, like, you want to hang out? I mean, we'll talk. Next like, Friday. Hey, she's like, please don't encourage him. We have a fucking, we got restocking this weekend, and like, you see Kay like take a big old puff of a cigar, and you immediately recognize that this is not tobacco. This man is smoking, and he just like blows it in there. It's just like, don't encourage him. We said that's K. That K K is getting fucking stoned. K, K is the one we were needed to question. LP was the one that you were questioning. No, I mean, K's... I mean, the one that we were looking for. It's Cree. Cree's who Cree. you're looking sorry, for. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Cree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got yeah. Cree, K, LP. Those are the NPCs that Adira, the Tinker. A lot of NPCs this episode. And who's so... behind my token? Uh, behind your token is that's Honey Banks. Honey, okay. Honey's behind your token. Um, I'm gonna move us to the the patio real quick so that we can have the conversations with Talali and Gemini. See what's up with those two. Ooh, stop grabbing everything, Alan. I love the patio though. Here we go. All right, so we get to the patio. Immediately, Talali and Gemini, you recognize Pina is sitting talking to Noel, um, the other bartender. You also see Tincture sitting talking to one of the nuns of the like the magic church, and then one of the mice. I'm um, just out of curiosity. How much have our memories of Tincture changed? Uh, you know that Tincture runs a very large, like, town at this point. She is leader of the... Like, leader of the trade. She does not travel with a giant Oni. Any, like, that is just not part of your memory anymore. D d was he there... He, the Oni... For when we first went there? Uh, to yeah. the you guys okay, so he like, was... the only used to travel with like the rivermen used to travel with noel but now not noel a uh, tincture tincture used to travel with the noel is just an otter that works at the bar right that's what she's always been that's what she is yeah, it's just out of curiosity cause, yep because no longer a nomad so no the otters are no longer nomads yes nothing's changed about peanut right 
Look, Peanut is still just sad. Surprising. <laughs> does, he, does Peanut at least have all of his teeth? Peanut does not have all of his teeth. Peanut oh, is missing no. his whole bottom row. Oh no. no. Peanut oh, Peanut. It's just so much more dejected. But you see Peanut like pounding back like bees candies. Nice. His teeth are slowly regrowing, but he just he's just too self-conscious to talk. He's got a bottle of brandy in front of him, and, and Noelle's just like, there, there. Like, I know, but it's not till this weekend. You're going to be able to do, still present. You'll still be able to present your, like, wonderful plan. And, like, that's who's in this room. You do not see Cree in this room, which is why you came in looking. Well, I have a card to deal with that, but... <laughs> Has anybody here seen Kree recently? Like, do you, do you know where Kree went to? Um. The, uh, uh, roll me a 20-sider, just to see if anybody did. 19, <laughs> um. Yes. I know, mean, I was just like, uh, she... She was in here for a minute, but... Uh, I think she went into the, like, the wine cell. Like, that's where she normally goes. Like, I don't know. Like, she's been doing bar back duties for a while, so. You can go check that out. Um, I, look, we trust you. So all he immediately wants to go check that out. <laughs> I just immediately just head that way? Well, yeah, I, I was like. <laughs> you can stay here until all he's going there. <laughs> Somebody who works here should probably lead us down, just so we, you know, we know where we're we're going. Just, just, I, you know, like, I know, I know we're trusted, is. but <laughs> I know we're trusted. Still, always best to do things properly. W would anybody mind taking us down there? Because at the uh, very least, we don't have a key for it. She hops down and she's like, "All right." And I'm like, "Don't worry, Peanut." We'll figure this out. Peter figure just out, like... At the very least, why? Why the teeth? Right, Peter just nods and goes back to drinking his bread. Sorry about Rudy. And he just like sighs. Alright, so we're down in the wine cellar and there's just like casks and casks. Just all the way. Some of this is stink ale. I mean, stink flower beer. Some of this is just straight up wine. There are also bottles from all over the world. Like there's a group of bottles that look like they were recovered from a pirate ship because they totally were. It's just like and you no, know, I was like you see? Just a normal ba uh, basement. Like she's gotta be around here somewhere. She comes back here all the time. Like, I swear, she's down here more than she's at the bar. Yeah. Can we see her? You cannot see Cree. Cree does not appear to be down here right yet. Or at this time. Or at least in the two alleys that you guys can, like, walk down comfortably. I use my star collar to ask Talali, Hey, is there a back exit or another way out? Uh, do I have to roll something to figure that out? No, no, you could just tell her that you, um, there is a back exit. Everybody knows about it. It's a very little known back exit, but Akana might not have known about the wine. Uh, I told her about the back exit and telling her we're looking in the wine cellar right now. I meant from the wine cellar. Is there another uh, way out or is there only one way in? That you would have to roll for. I'll roll. Okay. Get me a wonderful little 19 again. You guys yes. are rolling so good today. You do find a little, like, as you're, like, going down, like, and be, it might be because you're so small to all, <laughs> that you see a little, like, passageway that you could crawl through. I want to crawl through it. So... Talali's the only one that craw this immediately crawls through, and this is what behind it. Oh! Oh. I'm gonna crawl back. 
<laughs> so Holly does not know anything about this kind of shit. She does not want to touch it. It does not immediately set you off as like evil. You know what I mean? Like yeah, but it's I, magic shit. Yeah, yeah. And she don't know anything about that. All right. So you can go ahead and call everybody. You can get everybody <laughs> right outside the room if you want. Yeah, you want. I'm gonna call everyone. Get everybody. So is it only like big enough for me to fit through, or can no, other people? Everybody else can get through, but they would okay. have to hands and knees. Okay, good. So, we'll get you all in there. Here you guys are. You're much bigger than that compared to it, by the way. <laughs> um, all right. All those you know, giant like, candles. God damn it. Good work's so hard to find. They're so good at their job. <laughs> I barely know that this is anything sinister. It, uh, um, going it's probably something sinister. Then you guys got a moment of 20 status for, like, information, though. I have my spy glasses on, so... Hmm, spy glasses. Roll as an advantage. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and roll me two 20 status. Take the higher. Wait. Oh, it's two and a fourteen. I thought it was a two and a four. I nice, so did I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, wow, yeah, that was bad. Bad, but no. Okay, so the fourteen will give you successes with your little with the goggle things. It's just like it is does not immediately strike you as evil oh, no, magic. Oh, re <laughs> sorry, re roll that. Re roll your fourteen. Somebody is dying outside. So, um, so you have a two and a seven now. Oh no! So oh, no. Wait, uh, I will say I played hold that on, hold on. I have I have a reroll. We can't have... change it again. Oh, You're only no? one card to roll. I will uh, say I, I played I... that reroll thinking that the fourteen was a four. Was four. Yeah. Uh, okay, we can refund that. We can refund it. We'll let the okay, let okay, it fly. Yeah. I also oh. saw the magic item that um, Chicks, you will get one in just a second. Nice. There's also some ability oh. scrolls used. Okay. Uh, what ability did Lurid just play? Call the wizard on speed dial. <laughs> So here's what you see real quick. You see um, the candle in the center is emitting like some kind of like magic to it. It's it's giving you a very like reminiscent of were you in any game that we were in Port Bar? Akana? Yes. Okay, excellent. So you would recognize that this is the, based on your goggles, it's basically the resin from the, not the, not the resin, but the sap from the trees in that swamp being, like, made into a candle and then burnt. This is, like, kukla tree. Mm -hmm. It appears that if somebody is trying to summon a kukla, but you can see the wisps of smoke, like, leading out of the room, out a back door that you can see now that you have a path to follow. And also the magic item that you get is that candle, Trixie. Mine. Nice. That candle can <laughs> if you blow it out then relight it and spend 2 AP and ask it to locate something for you, the smoke will travel to the spot. Oh, nice. It has a limited amount of uses, but I'm going to say it's somewhere like in the hundreds if you just light it very short, you know? Yeah. But we don't have to like really worry. Warlord, you also see some books around the area that are straight up copies of your notes. Oh. Like the, the stuff that the one otter was copying that they pulled out of the ocean have been doubled and are also down here. Just, hmm. 
That's concerning. Uh... Scoop them up? Um... Zach, if you want to give me a 20-sider, I can give you some stuff, too. Okay. Not with a 5. Not with a 5, I can't. Uh, um, I can with a 5? You gotta re-roll it? Yeah, they, they deserve the good stuff. <laughs> Go ahead, re-roll it one more time, Zach. And hopefully you get higher than a 5. Hmm. 18? 18? Yeah, I guess. Hey. A little bit higher. So... So you bumped your knee on one of these boxes because it's such a short ceiling and like something falls out and it's just about to hit the floor and shatter, but you like swoop your hand and catch it right before it hits the ground. And it is, it is concentrated. I played the wrong card. That's fine. The <laughs> wild card will work for it too. We'll, we'll let it ride. Okay. Cause I do have the pitch hitter card. I just click the card under it and said, yeah, there's a lot of people screaming. Um, but yeah, so you have a, like, it's a bottle. If you take the cork off and, like, smell it, like, it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't taste like anything. But it will put somebody to sleep. Oh, yeah. Like, hmm. this has four, four uses. This bottle, if you get somebody to drink it, it doesn't work if you, like, splash it on them. But if somebody drinks it, then they will fall asleep. You can do what, like, they cannot take damage. No matter what you do, they will not take damage. They will wake up feeling fine, but you could remove all of their limb. They would wake up fine. Well, I think I found our poison. <laughs> yeah. Huh. This looks like where the, I guess, the treacherous act was set up. So this is like the planning room, and I guess the summoning room, too. Um, Trixie has the candle, and it is leading you guys somewhere. Nice. Yeah, I want to follow that smoke. Before we go, about the notes. Mm -hmm. With sure. those, do I see anything else? Like, offhand notes made by someone else? or anything like that. Uh, go ahead and roll a 20. 18, nice. look at you guys. Fucking doing great. Um, you just, you see on the notes, uh, the word tree circled many times. It's just like, like in the margins, like wrong place, wrong place. Maybe tree, circled tree. Um, just like the, the part about you guys cutting down the tree is circled. It's just, which tree is it? This tree. Like. And then it's just like. Then it dawns on you that. The. With an 18, I'll give it to you. I was going to hold it for a 20. But this seems like it's some kind of like blessing. Mm. This, this spell, like looking at all of its parts, looking at the notes. It's not like a summoning. She's summoning, like, a blessing. So it's not like summoning a thing, but more I mean, of It like, might summon a kukla, but kuklas are I mean, good. Yeah, but based off, of the, based off of the notes that I see, it's more like summoning a, well, blessing or an effect. Yeah. Hmm. I'm taking these notes and... Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, if you want to add those to your inventory, it's revisioned note, revised note. Like, you could repeat this spell, like, if you wanted. Like, this is the, the notes for the blessing of the kukla. Not sure what it does. And how many teeth does it say it needs? <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. <laughs> A lot. Like, it does say that, like, requires teeth from many... Maybe not a lot of teeth, but a lot of Each different teeth. teeth. Yeah. Mm. Which would explain that... why it was just a blanket across the board. A lot of people were drugged. 
a lot of different so, types of people. Here is the yeah. page from the book. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Close it. Uh, that's oh, not no. just a tooth. That's part of the jaw. Uh, mm. Still gums attached. Wonderful. She's not the nicest dentist. The, most of these are just shark teeth because if you try to touch a pile of teeth on the internet, they don't really show you a lot. <laughs> For good reason. A lot of the ones on the teeth are definitely Officer Trafford's teeth. Rude. All right. So you, you want guys, oh, go ahead. good teeth pictures. Look up the uh, baby teeth. No. In a, inside of a skull. I'm oh I'm good. God. I'm no. good. No. It's, no. No. It's upsetting. Yeah, I, oh, stop. I know. Please stop. So you guys like are following this the smoke and you follow it through the follow it all the way through the city holding the candle. Like you walk back through the um the street that um LP was telling you about. And like it starts to get dusk, just normal time dusk, not like extra dark or anything like that. It's just you've been at this all day, kinda. And then you wander off into the forest, the small forest that surrounds the tree I and mean, that surrounds the island. That um Hattori, like and Adira took you guys to for your test, you know? You had to find the right mushrooms, cure Adira of her, like, air quotes, poison. But you do stumble onto a tree with a pile of teeth at the bottom and a moth, like, doing a strange seance. This is the pile of teeth. Now, Kree was super nice, so I don't want to unleash the death cannon, but... And what kind of options do we have? Not necessarily well, doing anything but, evil. Can I swaddle Oz, her? Very, very likely doing something helpful. I have a card called Just... Swaddle. Can, can I swallow her? <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. you can swaddle It won't her. hurt no, no, no. her, and it Absolutely. won't. First, I want to just be like, hey, uh, where'd you get them teeth? How's it going? Whoa. She jumps a little bit, and she's, oh, all right, all right. You, you, you caught me. You caught me. But you understand that this was... It's all for the, the greater good. Hold on, we caught you what, though? Please explain. Just I'm not gonna play gonna... coy. <laughs> I took your teeth. Yeah. That's <laughs> obvious. Yes. I took you... But look, look. It's a magical city. It's a beautiful city. They can grow back your teeth. I heard Sama talking about it. You right. could have just asked. Honestly, I... not the point, because we were drugged first. That might have been, you know, maybe... Maybe looks bad on me. Looks that bad looks on very me. Very bad. Very bad. Look, okay, okay. I see you're upset. I see you're upset. Like, I get it. You're mad that I drugged you. You're mad that I took your teeth. I move oh, forward so he's on the screen, too. Yeah, I would have just given you mine. <laughs> I could have just asked. If, if I'd asked everybody in the city for teeth, I don't think they would have given me the number that I need. So I figure it's easier ask forgiveness than permission. We can all agree on this, right? We all know. I didn't think you guys would be such lightweights. Looks at Gemini, looks at Talali. Maybe you. You're very small. I'm gonna swallow you. Well, let's find out what's going on first. We can find out what's going on after they're swaddled. <laughs> if you play this wild card, I have something very fun. Do it. Just separate them from the tree oh, as soon as possible. So, <laughs> Trixie's frog sleek feet just this hops card. out of nowhere Swaddle. and like wraps the tongue completely around Cree, and Cree <laughs> is now swaddled in the tongue, <laughs> like just completely wrapped up. Good frog. Awesome. I just put the frog on the screen here. Adorable. <laughs> it's the biggest moth it's ever seen. 
It's just like it's so trying so hard not to swallow by the way. It's just like creeps like eee! <laughs> I It wasn't permanent. You guys were fine. I was just trying to Look, look. I you, If you saw my spell room, then you like cuz she sees she sees that you're holding her candle. And you know that I'm just trying to help. If I do this, I think I can protect this world from any other invasion of giant creatures. I'll convince every other world that this world houses a bunch of Ku And the Red Caps are scared of the Ku Klux. So my plan is to just scare away all the Red Caps. Well, the good news is we have two crews from the Silver Thimble working on that already. I know, but you guys are just... It, it lo she looks around at all of you. She's like, you guys, the science team leaves a little bit to be desired. I mean, think it's about back it. back to ship being destroyed. Right? The ship being destroyed I mean, by the giant white cap. Well, all like, these navigation, she's not really offended. <laughs> uh, I think thing. what's done is done. We have this pile of teeth here. If we want to complete the ritual at a later date, we can. We need to complete it now. I've already started. It's either now we... or never. We're going to anger the Kukla if you don't let me finish. Anybody want to call the captain? Um... Nika yeah. never rolled me a 20-sider. I don't know how she's doing. <laughs> how, how would this... Um... What do I roll? How with? would this anger the Kukula? You can roll it right in the roll 20. Because Kukula are powerful, and I don't think we want an angry Kukula. So, yeah. All he wants I to just... leave it up to the captain. Oh, Ooh. tough choice. <laughs> uh, so, the captain is woozy and missing a tooth, but not out of it, just woozy. The people who rolled under a five, especially the people rolling a one, can't do sh. <laughs> but, like, the captain could answer your call. You vomit successively. So wow. I would personally argue that the, the captain would never fighting. drink alcohol, but. <laughs> it, she slipped it into your grenadine. God damn it, that whore. I'm sorry. <laughs> It wasn't about what what you drank. It was about who was serving you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you guys keep talking to the moss. Uh, I'm going to call the captain. And yeah, well, you call the captain. So definitely uh, call the captain. Let the captain know could it, we might have to complete the ritual because we might not want angry Kukla. I'm going to be honest. I'm personally just a bit against that. Just personally, very much against that. Or find I, a way to safely cancel this. So I take out the revised notes. I look Korean eye and say, what type of progress were you making? It just it's quite simple. Explain, just... It works like this. We summon a kukla here, and then it comes out, like, does its business, goes back through the rifts, and it's kind of like it just marks its territory. If this place belongs to a Kukla, then only the biggest, baddest Redcaps would dare set foot. And what That's not the Kukla good. Would mess up, mess up everything. Can you say Any do thoughts? its business. <laughs> it. She means exactly what it sounds. Mm -hmm. It will also... mark its territory. Make it so only the biggest and baddest will come here isn't exactly great. Yeah, but you guys have already dealt with, like, so many. And it's better... Like, look, we have that giant rift in the center of the city. And you guys know about this. It's a, the, the center of the bay is just one giant rift that we have been slowly opening back up. She wants to open the rift so that everybody gets more business. So more people can come back to and fro, you know what I mean? But if she does this, then you don't have to worry about the little red cat slipping in. 
only the ones that you would just see. And if you see them, you can hit them. So she's trying to do what you guys already did, but she wants to make it permanent. Um, and like Isaac, based on the notes, it seems like it makes perfect sense. Like maybe she did it in a bad way, but the magic checks out. And I'm thinking like teeth are already here, rituals already started. If it can be done safely and not piss off a kukla or have a pissed off kukla come through. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, you're still facing some big shit. You're probably going to lose your job, honestly. What it's with just... drugging patrons? And well, not going to teeth though. I mean, uh, I, just, I can I can offer so much more. And she she's just I can offer so much more. You take like put me in the as the crew. I don't want to be a bartender anyway. You guys, this could be so cool. Like I could join you. You have you seen my book? It's full of monsters. I could tell you how to fight monsters. And so that will be up to the captain. Mechanically, yeah. what she would give you guys is you could always ask once a game to do the size up move that the size up fighter move and she could give you background information about like if you see a monster as long as you can contact her if she's part of the team if she's part of the crew then that's what she gives you one free size up per game i'm gonna make the call to the captain and see what she thinks all right nika which way do you vote Someone who is willing to take liberties with their fellow crew members' bodies without their consent is no member of our crew. Right. Yeah, how about hard no? How about completing the ritual or not, or just like hard stopping what's going on and possibly really pissing off a kukla? Do we know anything about the kukla? You would know a lot about the kukla. The kukla are the ancient enemies, of both. Um, the moths that eat reality, and they are the ancient enemies of the cat. The cool with the catfish, though. Would stopping this right here piss them off? It would make them angry, but it wouldn't let them into this world. They would not have an entrance. Would they be angry at us? They just stopping... might be angry. Ah. Okay. Hmm. I think we can deal with that. I concur. All right. Yeah. Um. On that note, I'm just, because it's zero. It's it's zero. Uh, zero AP, and also Isaac is pissed. Just looks screen in the eyes and says, "Everything you've done, even if it was with good intention, you went about it the wrong way, and that alone pisses me off rightly." And I cast Kindle and burn the notes. All right. So yeah, the the notes. She just screamed. She's like, "No! What are you?" Ah. Yeah. Mm. So, like, and yeah, I, I agree. You're facing some big shit. You were going to, regardless of if we let you finish this or not. Just you know, the teeth are here. Figured we should. Uh, you can take the teeth. See what to do with them. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys blow out the candle right now, the candle that Trix is carrying, then the spell completely ends. Yeah, okay. that's a, I think the damp out the candle. Yeah, blow right. out the candle. So, like, the magic leaves the area. Um, For a quick second, everybody feels like a shudder. And then it goes back to normal, like birds chirping in the trees just before the sun sets, and you guys have a pile of teeth. <laughs> that are now back to just normal teeth. They're just teeth. Probably smell just Awful. Uh, yes. Should I, uh, I don't know, destroy the tree that she put them at the base of, or is that just a normal tree that she was going to co opt? It's just a normal tree that okay. she was going to co opt. It would have become something else, gotcha. but. Good. All right, so. Yeah, like you guys arrest her and you take her to the brig, which is 
run by a bunch of otters, and all those otters my missing teeth might sad about it. Oh, good. She's swaddled nice by, a, by a frog's tongue, so there's no worry about <laughs> that. <laughs> and then there's just a line at the hospital as everybody gets their teeth back. And like I said, this was a short game, but that was teeth. Gross. Gross. What what do we do with the pile of teeth? Well, you can take them back to the hospital if you want to. Yeah. And yeah. like maybe some of them can get put back in the mouth so it doesn't like require as much healing. Oh, um, if you take the whole pile of teeth, I will give everybody Nobody has to worry about getting healed in the meantime before they get their teeth back. Okay. It's just like all you have to do is wait in a line to get your teeth back. So, yeah, like, just hope that the teeth that get put in are ours. <laughs> Call his fangs. <laughs> like, okay, fine. <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah, that that was this game. It wasn't a long one, but like, that was the end of the mystery. Like, yeah, Cree stole your teeth. The, the fairies weren't involved at all. <laughs> fairies were a red herring. Had to make sure. How all I can dare think you. of is like. Like, like in Clue, much like cat, um, like uh, communism, the fairies were a red herring. I'm gonna refund that card back to Quarry because we do not torture people. Like Cree was arrested and she is suffering justly. We are not gonna cast spells on her. We are not gonna torture. We might have to question about, like, why, why, why did you just... It's because she, yeah. she, wants, she wants to play play with magic. She wants to fight yeah. big, real mom. And apparently like, she wants to just join the crew, but she could just exclamation point enlist. She could have. <laughs> she could have. Yep. Could have. Yeah, we fight big monsters. A bit late for That's joining time. now. <laughs> yeah. Now, Man. now she's being punished. Excellent. Yeah, but um, again, thanks you guys for coming out and playing the game pretty much exactly how I wanted it to be played. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. Oh shit! There is one more thing. Um, Gemini, as you're, like you're going through just the notes of the thing, she's like, "Wow!" And it's like going back and clearing out her and inventorying her room mm -hmm. you find a book and this book is particularly strange to you as an anthropologist it doesn't match any of the writing from this world like any of it like it's like most people you guys can understand things that you read because it's just the way this world works but this world is both written on a very strange kind of paper and very strange language, but it's just like packed. The information is just like super packed in there. And this is going to be a lead in for next month's game that involves Gemini. You have a strange desire to keep this book secret. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, but like you want to. possible just there's a lot of stuff to inventory there's a lot of stuff to it's, inventory it's like in just one book yeah 100 percent. it can not be inventory that you have this or or just like you know various books and you guys do have and, um oh sorry yeah if i don't find any other books similar to it that i that are particularly noteworthy just be like oh yeah you know several books with no relevance to 
the, you know, the incident. And uh, Akana, you're the one that, like, you found um, her grimoire. Mm -hmm. You have that grimoire for two AP. Normally it's a zero AP, but you're not a fighter. You can use size up. And, like, anytime you want. When size up just gives you, what is this monster? Is it weak to something? It's basically, you spent two AP to flip through this book and figure out, like, what the monster is weak to. Okay. So you have Kree's Grimar, Talali has Kree's um, candle, mysterious book is what Gemini has, and you would have had like ability, a I mean, way of casting a legendary ability, but burn it. So Warlord uh, does not have. Isaac was pissed. Isaac, Isaac, <laughs> Isaac was pissed. Yeah, that's fine. It works for me. Make a point. So oh, I was in my inventory and I have a seed and I wrote a note, possibly a word tree. You do have a seed for possibly a word tree, yes. You can plant that somewhere. You can even put it in a little pot, keep it in your room. Oh, that's a bad idea. It's not going on the ship for sure. Okay. If it's destined to be a tree, I don't think we should keep it inside <laughs> a small confined area. Um, Where somebody could just add, someday design. just cast exactly. smell on to accelerate its growth. That, or it just goes on its own. Who knows how fast where trees grow? Um, pretty unpredictable. But I, I don't know. It's kind of. I don't know the next game I'll play, so I don't know if uh, I should just use it or hold it. You can you can retcon it at any point and say that you it whenever you want. I'm right. fine with. It. Could also, you know, cook with it. You that could, sounds you like could a bad idea. Make, <laughs> make like a nice seed bread. Yeah. At the diving bell, not. <laughs> I'm I'm sure nothing wrong could go wrong with eating like basically a sacred. Nope. Uh, seed. Nope. If I get drunk enough, I might dare someone. Just swallow this seed whole. <laughs> Form it into a donut. We have a donut station. Oh. Word tree donuts. Word tree donuts, you know. Yeah. Hmm. You know, if yeah. someone, anybody decided they didn't want their old teeth put in, we could make teeth donuts. I don't want teeth no. donuts. Nope. I don't no. want teeth donuts. Why? I don't Why want teeth donuts. <laughs> I don't want teeth donuts. I don't think anyone wants teeth donuts. I don't want red cap donuts. I don't nope. want teeth donuts. We're going to have to make a list. All right. But mm -hmm. yeah, that's the end of the game. Nika was back up here for a second and then she disappeared. <laughs> it was purely to make that face. Just that face uh, alone. <laughs> 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 Let's not eat teeth donuts. But anyway, again... Thank you all for coming out. Thank you for playing this game. It was very fun for me. Now I want to make teeth donuts. Nika no. wants to make teeth donuts. You can no. have toys. Why are we repeating this? Need it. Let's just look for a teeth mold on Amazon and see what we got. I I will fight you. <laughs> just some nice white chocolate teeth. That's what I'm thinking. Like it just yeah. just some cute little white chocolate teeth on a donut. Like it could actually be kind of good. Turn into fangs and it's vampire donuts linking both games. I found a, a tooth silicone mold. Oh no. Oh. Um, I don't like this. They're just molar donut oh. holes. Cursed sprinkles. The worst sprinkles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just make I... them a little bit harder than normal sprinkles. Like. I now have a bad idea for something to make. Yeah, no, Wait, it's like, teeth donuts. like, first off, he just, like, hit up, like, a, like, 3D program, he, like, model some teeth, then you 3D print that, you make a mold <laughs> out of that, and then you cast some, this, some tasty this teeth. This link is terrible. I'm sorry, everybody, that this I mean, link... Oh, I have a vacuum... 500. Oh, wow. It's super I have bad. a tiny vacuum farming machine. Just get set, people to send me your teeth, and I'll make. No, no, no. Make a you just want people it. to send you their teeth. Yeah, I don't no, know. This is a trick. Send me your teeth. Uh, <laughs> mm. Officially gone too you far. You can have Tolly's teeth. Oh, you teeth. can buy just Zipper's Pro Max. She don't need them from Etsy. Oh, that's perfect. 
I want you to be lying. You, in your heart of heart, you know he's not lying. I know. Like, you want it to be, but it's not. Guys, it's not. guys, look! Assorted animal teeth! <laughs> Do Don't would click you on that if you're scared of teeth! Uh, and that is not no. enough of a warning. Sorry. I feel like... I feel like we could find better teeth. That's assorted real animal teeth. Well, for $120, I could get 10 grade A human molars. Ooh. That's I didn't only grade it you're telling me I you're telling me I could sell my teeth. Yeah. Apparently they're Yeah, for enough money. <laughs> this is not enough money that I would sell my teeth. Oh, okay, fine. Forty dollars gets you a glass vial of real human teeth. Uh oh. Five yeah, that's not enough. Oh here here's a here's a mold of ju uh just a bun it's a, just a you know, poor mold for uh human teeth. Yeah, no, yeah I saw that I but like then I had like it. There's like 500 like words and uh, letters of the link. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, well that's enough <laughs> teeth. Talk, I think that's sorry teeth everybody that He's doesn't normal. like teeth. Um, <laughs> but that was the game Teeth, which is like a little noir mystery or thief. I enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> so like yeah. Look at it this way. We had four games this weekend. Three of those games were complete sec successes. And one of those games, they robbed Cowboy. Yeah. That worked out. It kind of has two motorcycles. Yeah. So I think that one worked out, too. At the very least, for a well, I guess. <laughs> I guess four successes. <laughs> and now, I have to go. And, like, take a couple of days off before two more games this week. Yep, there's now you have to go I... and use the bathroom as is tradition. <laughs> as is tradition. As is tradi as I went tradition. halfway through this one because, like, I joined the chat early, <laughs> which then threw my timing completely. Uh, so yeah, there's a game Saturday and Sunday. If I am feeling up to it, I might do some art things on Friday. We will uh, see how that goes. Thank you all for for coming out and for playing and for dealing with teeth and for grandma card packs and all of that good stuff. Thank you all so much. Mm -hmm. We're gonna all Thanks. fuck off and die now. Bye for I will. Bye. 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 Bye.